Okay guys, welcome back. Okay, what we're going to do is I'm going to hit some shots and I'm going to to talk about the options and uh, and Mr. Rex is going to to let us know if I'm actually doing it. So I'm gonna, what I'm going to try and do here with channel lock is I'm going to try and apply his iron process in that the coming down I'm just going bang I'm just going it's all over by the time I hit the ball there it's just totally over I, I, nothing else is in my mind after that it's just wherever the club goes it goes but I'm, I'm using my yogi grip Okay, rate that out of 10, Mr. X. <laughs> it's quite good. I'd say nine and a half, that one. Oh, jeez. You, know, you, you never get a 10 off this guy, ever. Ever. I can't hit any better than that. But what's interesting there, guys, is that it's very much a hit. I'm really hitting at the golf ball. I'm, 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 I'm trying to go there. Just hit down and exactly as Mr. X, Mr. X said. Okay, I'll go to the left over that one. The 160 sign. Now guys, gee that's long. You'd, you'd have to agree that, you know, that's a very leisurely type golf swing. And the contact off the face there is just exquisite. Just do an audio check, how are we looking, okay? Yeah. Uh, just give me your three wood, and I'll just hit a couple of long shots, the and uh, and see what it uh, what it looks like. Pushing the envelope there, you're getting close to a 10. Yeah. Getting close. Okay, that's a good shot into the I'm wind. I'm still not going to award a 10 for that. I'm that's sorry. a good shot into the wind, isn't it? Well, as soon as you award a 10, you've got nowhere to go. You can't have an 11. Well, what about a nuclear submarine? A nuclear submarine has got a 100% gauge for a plug, but they can go to 105%. So I can have a 10.5. Because this is nuclear. All right, watch this, guys. I'm really going to just hit at it. I mean, it's just it's just an easy golf swing. All right, now I'm going to go to Yogi. Now that that was Mr. X's. Um, I would personally. As my option, uh, with the with the ball teed up off the tee, uh, with the driver or anything, I would use my Yogi up because I'm so used to hitting up. I wouldn't use the down, but you can if you guys want to use the down, use the down. See, that's hitting up. I actually don't like these new grips, for, for me, just, just because I'm so used to those other ones. It's still a perfect shot. How good is that, Mr. X? Now that's a 10.5. <laughs> uh, it's a tough school. Okay, I'll give you 10.25. Now that's up, guys. That's really, that's Yogi up here. Uh, and uh, the whole process is get on with it here. And then hit up. Um, I'll just try one of Mr. X's uh, at the ball three woods. Down, down through it. Down through it, yeah. Like you're going to pinch it. Yeah.
It's a different flight, isn't it? Yes. So whereas Yogi is really high flight, when you hit that pinch flight, it's just flat. One more. Now, 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 some people might like a flatter flight. Just come a little bit closer to the ball. Oh, am I? Yeah, I didn't feel I had my right, my trail arm in there. Gee, that's a good shot. Oh, that is a good shot. Okay, so there's a couple of options there, guys. In what I do and what you do, there seems to be a lot more mechanics in your in your upswing to, to maintain the up the correct timing of the upswing. Yeah. The downswing for me is just that's it's, it. That's it's all point. over. That's yeah. your point. Don't worry about yeah. anything. Just go straight at that ball. Well, well, I guess the difference in thinking there would be is that you're thinking about going there with Yogi. Even from the top of the swing here, I'm thinking about being here. So all I'm doing is taking. A, I'm just putting my emphasis in a different place. Yep. Uh, this is Yogi. Well, if they made, uh, you could certainly save a lot of money on real estate for golf courses with that, couldn't you? You, could. you only need a fair way five yards wide. Well, let's hammer it. Come on, James. Full, full, full yogi. Wow, that's high. All right, just come in and hit a couple of shots. Hit a couple of irons. Just go through it. Where's your iron? Just to give a couple of different angles, just hit one straight out here. Nice and smooth, feel it. Very smooth. That's pretty sharp, Mr. X. Wow, that's long. Oh, that looked like you didn't even hit it. That really looked like you didn't hit it. That was a, b a better tempo. Was good tempo, yeah. Okay, turn around. We want to come around 40. Just hit it straight out here. Like hit it at the car out there. As long as we're in this area, it's all right. So you target. See, that's perfect. So if you if you were now I'm getting a very end over end flight. Um, I've taken a little bit more of the right to left and left to right off. Yeah, the, so it's pure backspin, as yeah, Mo Norman would say. It's more of a backspin, yeah. wedge type backspin. Uh, in a sense, it's not not wedge spin, definitely not. Yeah, wedge but spin. but it's not it's not the ball flight to me is not indicating there's more spin on it no. because it's not it's not flying high. It's just go, it's going nice height, but it's not crazy amount of spin. So. It's a perceptional feel rather than an actuality. Right this way. Yeah, 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 yeah. Just try and hit in between those two signs. That's perfect. That's a great shot. That. Yeah, that that that's really nice, nice tempo there. So, uh, okay, just let's just capsulise okay. a bit. So that's an easy thing. That's easy on your brain now because it takes a lot of the. Uh, my my, pro, my protocols now are, are channel lock, uh, rear rear ball, rear, yeah. off my right toe, slight um, cocking of the shoulders, just a, just a slight turn, maintaining the right elbow on the on the ribs as a feeling, and and the right and the left armpit feels like it's just crushing the. Okay, you said that before, yeah. A lot, lot of crushing power under it. Yeah. Um, and from there, it's just straight back in the swing, and I feel like I'm just going straight back to the ball. Okay. I'm, I'm not trying to 
follow through on the shot. I'm just trying to get everything back into that golf yeah, ball. I, I don't. I don't feel. I don't feel anything associated with the follow through. No, I, I'm. When I think about your iron action. Yeah. I it really just feels don't. like you're stopping, as if there was a big brick wall there, and you're bo you're just stopping at the brick wall. Yeah, well, that's 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 a lot of Da Vinci code in that. That's trebuchet, isn't it? It is. It no, is. that's trebuchet. Yeah. Um, oh, yeah. And I've got that feeling of the club coming down, glancing at the back of the ball to a degree. It's just a feeling, just a picture in my head. Yeah. I mean, that, that, there was nothing wrong with the shot, but that tempo was quicker, wasn't it? What do you put that down to? Um, just not not settling down before I hit the shot. Yeah, yeah. Not yeah. taking enough time yeah. over the ball. Yeah. So, so the protocol has got to be, you know, basically the same timing phase every time. If you get out of the timing phase, the brain is going to be asking, "Are we ready to go? We're we not ready to go. We were ready to go on the last shot." And it's just a state of confusion. It's pretty much the ready code. I haven't got the ready yeah. code there. Okay, all right. Um, that's basically it. If I if I set myself up with the ready code, it'll be it'll be entirely different. Okay. That's perfect. That's perfect. Now, guys, not being critical, but the one thing that I think that I don't like about Mr. X is process is and he's like most club players is that they really don't have a relationship with the target enough when they're lining up now if you watch that last swing there's basically no relationship for the, with the target he, he sort of had a cursory look while he was coming in but then he didn't reinforce it I always, I always think and you watch any good tour player or any of the tour players the tour players will always be out there they'll always be out there for a long time and then they come back and go you'll never see them coming come down here and get in here it to be the reinforcing reinforcing of the target that's just something he's always had he's getting better at it but uh, but I think you've got to be connected to that target more when you're settling your stance in yeah. and that will actually settle you down as well yeah, yeah no, that's definitely I, I agree with that because with head down you get you get absolutely too much detached from what you're well, trying your to do your focus is Four feet away from me, rather than well, well, well. We don't we, we don't want to think we're going to hit the golf ball. We don't want to think this is going to go to the target. Really, I mean, we want this to go to that, and this going to that will get that result. But once you've set up here, guys, and I've said this ad nauseum, once you've set up here, don't worry about the target anymore. Once once you've basically got it there, okay, it's there. Okay, but be aware of it. But then. We're not going to think, oh, I've got to get the golf club to go to the target. Once you're set up, you're set up. You just want to swing the club to the ball. And there's nothing you can do about it. Okay, put your best shot on it. That's good. That's the best shot of the day, that one. And see how, guys, that was just chopped off here? That, that was a great shot. Yeah, it, it's just a, a, feeling of, a feeling of at the ball. Yeah. Uh, rather than trying to sweep the club through to a finish point. All right. Off camera. If you don't give me a 10.5 for that, I'm going to cut you out of this video. I'm sorry, I didn't see that one. You'll have to do it again. Every time he comes on in this video, guys, I'm going to kill his audio. I like that. Did you see how far that went? 
Yeah, I, I like I like that aspect of, of hitting down with the irons or at the ball. I mean, I do anyway, but but I very much with Yogi, I've got that. See, I've interrupted everything there. I was thinking about see, the concentration is a hard thing. But see, I got out of sequence there. That's the one thing you would never have ever seen with Count Yogi. He never ever got out of sequence ever. Once once you commit in here, commit to the to the sequence. They do two ten point fives. Is that a record? Yeah, right. I'll, I'll is that a, two? I'll is give that... me a ten point five for that. That wasn't bad. That might be place. the two. That might be the first two ten point fives in a row. Hmm? But guys, see that my, my swing doesn't have the fluidity that that his does, and it doesn't have the power. Uh, but I try to do the same thing all the time. Now, I never ever advocate, you know trying to power your irons but if there's occasion where you need you need a power to power up an iron for whatever reason um, this here will be good because I all I will have now is more intention to, for that for the shot to be over by the time the ball gets to the and I know that I'll be generating maximum of power through that golf ball What's interesting guys is even even though I've got as much finish here I still feel this lead shoulder blocking. It's fantastic. That lead shoulder even though I'm moving onto that lead side after the shot this lead shoulder is not going over here which means the intention when I hit it is that it's not going over there. Okay well I'll just hammer this. I'm going to see if I can. I might end up in intensive care here guys because I'm going to try and get some of Mr. Rex's distance. Now that's really trying to hit the ball hard. Now that's a bit out of my. Now that's that's that's, that's a good shot, but that's out of my comfort zone. So I wouldn't want to do that. But I mean that's gone. But I I, I really felt myself trying to push that. I'm right, we'll hit one this way. Oh, that's the shot of the day there. Look how far that's gone. Did it have a bit of grass on the face? Gee, that went a long way. Maybe that, that wind has just picked it up a bit there. The grass gets a bit juicy, but that took off, didn't it? That was good. Yeah. This is what Mr. X and I do when we're off camera, guys. We just come in and pick some specific targets and we have a little bit of a competition. Go I'll fire this one. Uh, fire this one at the shed. Now, and of course you'll always see with me guys that I don't, I very rarely take a divot because I'm really shallow. Now that's all I'm going to hit. You can hit a couple more. Um, I mean, my, it's the old story, you can't hit. My swing has got a little bit, uh, a few more divots, but they're, they're past the ball, well past the ball. Oh yeah, well yeah, and, and none of the shots are fat. It's just that you're, you're a bit it's steeper than me. At the action it's a little yeah, bit steeper yeah, now. Yeah, yeah. I, I think your, your shoulder turns steeper than mine, and but I've always been shallow. A lot of people say that. You were looking at turbo turbo shots before. I, I can do a turbo for you. Yeah, let's see a turbo. Turbo time. A lot of clamp on that. Just definitely at the ball. Yeah. Everything's at the ball. Yeah. I won't do that again. Yeah but, yeah, but I mean, there was nothing, nothing wrong. But that was, that was a lot of clamp on it. Hmm. A lot of clamp it's on it. It's a bit hard with the graphite clubs because you, you're sort of putting too much pressure on them. Yeah, well, they are too soft for you. I mean, we've we've had Mr. X in graphite for a while, but I mean, he swings too strong. I, I got him onto the graphite because I wanted him just come back a little bit, come back over here. I wanted him to uh, to work on his tempo, uh, and he had to swing the graphites slower. But now he's back to hitting it well, he's too strong for the graphites. I should have those irons. <laughs> and you go back to those big stiff uh, power builds of yours. Oh, that was 
So. Well, what was that? Oh, just had twenty things going through my head. Okay, now none of them were to do with golf. Well, well, you know, you know exactly. what's, you know what's interesting. Exactly. That that there is a typical result. Now I'm glad that happened. That is a typical result of no orientation for playing golf. Let's just get over the ball and hit it. Now we should always be starting back here. Yep. We should be assessing the shot. Now that's just, you know, I've got to get this over and done with really quickly. And you could see that you were indisposed in your in your thinking. There, you could actually see that. I'm glad that happened, guys. That doesn't happen very I'm much to us. About things down there, over there, at home. I thought you might have thought that this guy here was going to whip one onto your head. Well, that's still a possibility. Yeah. Yeah. So, so come back here. Think about it. Actually, give me, give, think about the shot, and you're, and you're going to take the club out of the bag. I'm the bag. Okay. okay think about what you want. I always thought you were a bag. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. If I was a girl, I would be. Okay. Okay. That's it. Yeah. Lock in the thinking. Lock it in. Well, that's a great comeback from that other faux pas. That's the first real faux pas we've had on the JH channel lock. Best shot of the day. Oh, that was a great shot, wasn't it? But um, yeah. So you say you were locked. Head wasn't in there. I just I was in twenty different places. Mm -hmm. Wasn't thinking about anything. Which you're prone to do, no. aren't you? I do it quite a bit. Yeah. That's if I can remember them. Yeah. <laughs> now that was a great shot, that. Okay, so target oriented. Okay, going so at the left 120 down there. See, see that 160 out in the distance, the big one, that's, that's miles out from here. That's not 160, that's like 180 into the wind. Try and hit the six in the middle of the sign as a thought. <laughs> as a thought. You won't, but just as yeah. a thought. Really lock into it. That, that's playing about 200 into that wind. That's it, that's good. I like that. Good swing. See, you, you see, I, I see your reaction and you think, oh, I didn't hit that as good. Okay, you may not have hit that as well as you wanted to, but the ball's gone straight at the target, guys, which is, which is, a, which is the payoff with channel lock. You may not get it exactly as you want, but if someone was standing up there, they wouldn't know that you thought you didn't hit that as well as you, because your ball flight was still good. All right, last shot, just... Uh, uh, How's that wind going? It's straight into us now. So we'll go at the, where the wind's coming from, okay. that 240 sign. Okay, right on. Yeah, that's hammer time, isn't it? Yeah. That's hammer time. Tough conditions today, guys, and... Uh, uh, but I'm glad that, that he hit that uh, blooper on camera because we don't have that very often. Well, we don't have it at all. But but that is a perfect example of what can happen when your head's not in it. And that's the whole thing about Channel Lock NA protocol. You've got to be so committed to the protocol that you can't do anything else but comply with the protocol. And that's the thinking of it. I'll now have to go and see the greenkeeper about a yard of turf to get, get that hole. No, he wanted to put a drain in here, so you've already started the draining, so we're well underway. Okay, guys, that was just a little bit of... Uh, we might come back and just talk a little bit about the wedge process with this with this action because it's it's quite brilliant. We, we might do that. But if we don't, guys, that's been... That's today's, uh, today's uh, videos.